Hi, I'm Kent, and I have a question. How in the world did humanity survive so long without cameras? In 1888, a former bank clerk from Rochester, New York, came out with the Kodak, the first camera that was really designed for and usable by amateur, regular, non-photographer people. It was revolutionary. It could take a hundred pictures, and it had just one shutter speed. But that picture-taking revolution happened less than 150 years ago. To be clear, that means that cameras have only been available to people for 6% of the time since Jesus was born until today. In that 6% of time, of course, we've entered an era where almost anyone who wants to can have a multi-megapixel camera that holds a virtually unlimited number of pictures in their pocket. Consider how incredibly common photographs are in everyday life. How did we survive that long without them? Then again, how are we surviving now that we have them? It's estimated that 1.43 trillion photos were taken in 2020. To put that into perspective, there are only 31 billion milliseconds in a year. So if you looked at one photo per millisecond, it would take you 46 years to look at all the pictures that were taken in 2020. 46 years in which instead of seeing the moment you were currently living in, you looked at a moment from the past. 46 years where you appreciated moments gone by more than the moment you had right in front of you. Now, I'm not saying that photographs or cameras are bad or wrong, but today in this spotlight, I want you to think about the power and potential of the moments you are in right now. Not the past, not the future, just now. Why think about that? Because the past is gone and the future isn't in your hands, it's in God's. What God has given to you though is this moment and this one. And he says that the way you use these moments that you are given can impact not just your eternity, but the eternity of those around you. You see, if it's really true that the dead rise and people are eternal creatures, then every moment that can impact that eternity matters a great deal. And it's worth it to recognize that potential. Let me pray for you about this. God, you are kind enough to take away death, raise us to life, and make us part of eternity. What's more, you have chosen to allow our small moments that we occupy to impact that eternity, all through Jesus. Amen.